gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to another uh, Feed the Beast video, or Yogcraft to be specific. Anyways, on the road still, Ward thought I'd go ahead and make a biomass farm, uh, which automatically does it on its own, and almost does it for infinity forever and ever. It's almost infinite. Uh, I'll show you where the downside is. Anyways, go over all this. Let's start with the power first. To run all this, I'm actually producing probably more power than I can generate with the biomass, but this is just a uh, simple solar uh, power. Then it's hooked up to some, uh, oh, what are those called again? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bear with me, it's a, uh, was it electric engine? Yeah, electrical engine. Which turns uh, what's that industrial craft power into build craft power? In a sense, it's essentially a generator power by industrial craft. Anyways, so over here, what this is doing is I have one, two, three, four, five, six block block breakers making cobblestone. I'm turning that cobblestone into with the minimus stone. Now the problem with the minimus stone in the setup is it will eventually wear out. So that's the one thing that does not make this infinite. That will eventually wear out and will slow down the whole progress. Anyways, stone into flint, flint into gravel, gravel into dirt, and then I'm using the dirt. Oh, by the way, before I forget, since I'm producing an excess of stone, throwing over here to what I'm calling my dump, which throws everything down into lava. So the dirt goes down to here, where it gets fed, well, equally, into the farm. Now the farm, if you set it, hook it up like this with a uh, combine, will actually have more than enough seeds, as there's always an excess seed, so the problem is it will use dirt. So I'm using that to make sure this doesn't run out. Um, <clears throat> uh, seeds go here, any excess goes to the dump. Then also over here, I'm sending dirt to be mixed with the wheat to make compost. Uh, again, a system because I, I don't know, I got to get used to using uh, build craft pipes. They're just so inefficient uh, as compared to the numeric tubes. Anyway, so that's making compost, which goes into there, which I'll cover in a second. I um, also have a harvester of cactus. What's it actually called? A cactus, ho a cacti harvester. The reason I'm using this is all it requires is power. Otherwise, nothing else is needed. So it'll just continue to harvest cactus forever. Uh, got it here. The cactus is also being fed with the compost into the fermenter. So... Now that's the way you make biomass with, here let me uh, show you, biomass you just need any bio material, so any plant like material, and uh, mix in the fermenter with, there we go, with uh, fertilizer, mulch, or compost. I use compost because it's something I could easily make again, uh, you know, the way I showed you. So, any really plant uh, like I said the reason I use cactus don't need anything external you could also use uh, the uh, sugar car the uh, sugar cane farm which does the same thing just harvests the top layer forever anyway with this as you can see here it took me a while to figure out the ins out uh, this inserts water that takes out the liquid that uh, feeds the bottom here the top feeds the top so Right now I'm having it pumped over here to some iron tanks. Same with the water, which just a simple pump over there. Uh, I'm not sure if this, yeah. So this is another thing that wouldn't make it infinite is they used to be able to do uh, affinity ponds with these, but uh, looks like they updated. So I might need to rethink that to make it more infinite. Anyways, so with these though, these are iron tanks, which let me show you require iron tank walls, valves, and gauges. So, it's really quick. 
rolling machine note. So, to make one, I believe the minimum is a three by four. Hold on. One too many there. And it's a lot like most of the stuff here. You just have to build the shape. And once all the items are in place, it actually forms what you're building. So if I add two glass here, two glass here. I don't believe the glass is necessary, but it might be. I haven't tested around yet. And as I put in the last one, you see it just forms itself into a tank. Uh, I don't know if it makes a difference if you have to feed from the top or not, but I just decided to keep it simple that way. So there you go. This will continue to run until it runs out of water or if the stones run out of juice and then this runs out of dirt. So those are the two weak points that keep this from being uh, infinite. But it's darn near close. Uh, if there's any, if anyone's watching this and if anyone actually has idea how to make this truly infinite, let me know any mistakes I made, anything to simplify this that I've missed because I'm new to this Feed the Beast. I used to mess with forestry a little bit back in uh, the first tech it, uh, or second one, whichever it was, back when I used to play. Uh, so I'm trying to figure all this out on my own. So I'm just playing around, messing around. So let me know any better ideas. Uh, otherwise, thanks again for watching and see you next time.